channel. So today I'm going to review two drugstore cushion foundations. One of them is the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion and then the other one is the Wet n Wild um, Cushion Foundation, Mega Cushion. And so I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of these two foundations and you will get to see my thoughts and reactions to it. So stick around and here we go. Sorry I'm so stuffed up. I have a cold. I'm trying to get rid of it. Um, but we're going to try these two cushion foundations. So the first one that I have that's been out for a while is the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion Foundation. I haven't tried this. Um, I just opened it. So it looks like that. You have this little thing. And then here we go. So I got this in the shade N2. So I got a neutral. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I didn't want to get the more pinky tone um, because I like to kind of neutralize my skin and Wet n Wild didn't have a pinky tone. So I want to get this similar. Difference in cost. This cost close to $16 at Target, um, at my local Target. I know that the prices can vary drugstore to drugstore. You can probably get this on sale or with like a 50% off. And the Wet n Wild cushion costs $7.99, so about $8. And I love Wet n Wild, they're cruelty free, they're really awesome, but I also love L'Oreal. And so the Wet n Wild cushion, uh, and this is in Creamy Ivory. Oh, the cushion just fell out, there we go. Same sort of deal, really, really similar packaging. All these cushions kind of have this. And then there's that cushion inside. So I'm going to swatch these for you. And we will do a color test. The one on the top here is the L'Oreal. And then we have the Wet n Wild. It's much darker. This is going to be very interesting because I plan on doing half my face with one, half my face with the other. And we'll see how that goes. <laughs> We're gonna do this half of my face is going to be the L'Oreal, and then this half of my face is going to be the Wet n Wild. And I'm actually gonna use my Beauty Blender for both of these because that's how I apply foundation. I've seen people apply these with the Beauty Blender, so we're just gonna go right in with it. Okay, right in with it. Bottom. Here we go. Okay, so. This is a pretty good shade for me, actually. I might look a little crazy with the other half of my face. So this half has the makeup, this one doesn't. So that's the L'Oreal one, so that's the $16. Now for the Wet n Wild, and I'm thinking I probably should have gotten the shade lighter. This is the second to lightest shade of this foundation. I'm gonna rinse off my Beauty Blender and be right back. Okay, so the Wet n Wild one, here we go. Okay, that's not going on as dark as I thought it was going to. It's a little yellow. I think that's what it is. I think it's a little bit yellow for my skin. But the swatch looked much darker. This one kind of has like a, a body lotion scent to it. Probably the coconut, but it doesn't really smell like coconut. So, this is the Wet n Wild one. Now, my face doesn't look like I'm wearing two different foundations right now. They actually look very similar. I don't think that there's really any difference between the two. My face looks pretty much identical on both sides of it. Don't really see a difference. I think that they both feel great. Now my only concern, I think that the Lumi cushion has actually gotten a little bit darker on my skin. Um, so maybe it's changed color slightly and gotten warmed up a little bit with my 
skin, which is totally fine. It still looks like my skin. And they both don't look like I'm wearing foundation. They actually look really awesome. Um, I think that the L'Oreal side is a little bit more luminous than the Wet n Wild side, but only slightly. Um, they both did a really good job of covering up some of like my problem areas right now. Like I don't feel like I need to wear a lot of concealer or anything. I think that I have a big concern with the Wet n Wild side possibly breaking me out. Um, I've tried Wet n Wild primers before and had a bad reaction to them. So I'm a little bit concerned that the foundation might break me out. I love Wet n Wild for so many other things, but I actually don't typically use their face products because I have such sensitive skin that it gets like irritated very easily. Also, I'm just noticing this, but I think that the Wet n Wild side, my pores look much better. On the L'Oreal side, my pores are kind of exaggerated on my cheek here. That's a really small difference, but I feel more smoothed over on the Wet n Wild side. And then the L'Oreal Lumi, I think maybe the, lum the luminescence of it is exaggerating a little bit of my pores. That could... Maybe I just have bigger pores on the side of my face, who knows. And I'm also going to do a check-in at the end to see how these wore. I don't expect them <laughs> to wear very well on my nose uh, because I have a cold and I'm gonna be blowing my nose all day long. So this area might not be the best representation, but my skin tends to really eat up makeup. So any makeup that stays on my face is good by me. Hello, so I'm checking in about five hours later four hours later. And I think both of the foundations are really awesome. So my final thoughts on this are, I think I really like the L'Oreal Lumi cushion. I'm gonna continue to use it. The dislike that I have about this is I do think it exaggerated my pores a little bit. I don't really have large pores. And so for this to, I have a piece of hair sticking out. For this to have exaggerated them is a little strange to me. And then my thoughts on the Wet n Wild one, so far it hasn't irritated my skin. Um, and I like that it has an SPF of 15 in it. This is the Wet n Wild side. And I think it was a little bit more, give me same dewiness, same amount of coverage, same build, like amount of buildability, but a uh, crappy shade selection. But I think that you kind of pay for a crappy shade selection, but it still sucks. Um, and I think that this is probably a better price point. I kind of wish that the L'Oreal one, because I was thinking about it and my favorite foundation, the It Cosmetics CC Cream, which is a medium coverage foundation, you get 1.8 fluid ounces. And I believe this is about $32. The L'Oreal, you get about half an ounce, 0.51 ounces of product and it's about $16. So for a drugstore product that's really expensive, that to me just doesn't make a lot of sense. I think that the price point is so much better on the Wet n Wild, so that's probably why I would recommend the Wet n Wild over the L'Oreal. Um, both awesome. So if you, um, maybe you just really like L'Oreal products, maybe you want a little bit more of an expensive one and also, if you can't find your shade in the Wet n Wild one, then if you, for a cushion foundation, I think the L'Oreal one is awesome. All in all, I think that these foundations are really awesome. And so thank you so much for watching and tune in in a little bit for a vlog. Yeah.